today we are going to look at the interview process of Tata Electronics. We are going to look at it in the very details. We'll talk about how the process is, how you can get an interview, what are the exact things that are asked in the interview, and what are the different rounds that we have. Okay, so let's get started with how you can get the interview. So this is the one of the most basic things. Uh, I have told this in few other videos as well, but the reason why I mention it again because it is one of the most important pro part of the process because if you won't get an interview opportunity in the first place, how would you appear for the interview? So one is that campus hiring. Uh, in your last year of graduation, the companies might start visiting, to you, visiting your campus and you can look out for Tata Electronics if you dream to join this company. The second way is to get a referral. This applies to candidates who have some experience most of the time because then only they can be referred to some company at least for a full-time experience. And the third option is off-campus and apply. You can go to the company website and apply directly but this has very small chances. Rather than that you can choose the option second which has the maximum chances. Uh, now let's proceed to the overall process of this, the overview first. So we have uh, three rounds of interview, right? So first we will have the online aptitude test, then we'll come to the technical face-to-face -face interview, and third is the HR round or you can say the managerial round. During the aptitude test, you will be asked questions from different topics. So here we can look at quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning, verbal ability, and technical ability. For quantitative aptitude, you can see that we have a complete list of topics uh, that can be asked during the interview. I've also mentioned here like how many number of questions that are asked mostly in general and what is the time duration that is provided to you uh, for the same. So you will have 25 questions for each of these four subsections with the same 25 minutes of time for each one of those sections. So you can see that these are the list of topics that you can go through. These are basic topics in the book. You can refer for it related to quants like R.S. Agarwal. So some basic topics are here, permutations and combinations, uh, compound interest, simple interest, problems and averages, volumes, profit and loss. These are the basic quant topics. Second one is the logical reasoning. In this, again, uh, I have jotted down the list of topics. You can uh, try to solve at least five to 10 questions from different topics so that you can gain confidence around these. We have uh, blood relations, Venn diagrams, uh, directions, analogy, eligibility test, these kind of things. Uh, the third one is the verbal ability. This is most likely around English. So joining sentences, error connections, sentence arrangement, transformations, spotting errors, sentence completion, prepositions, spelling test, synonyms, entertainments, substitutions. All these topics you can go through from different websites uh, are out there and you can apply for the mock test, simple test, and then keep on increasing difficulty. For each of these, if you solve around five to 10 questions, that would be enough to for you to gain confidence then we have technical ability now depending upon your profile to which you are applying this might differ like for CS you can see these list of topics are relevant but let's say you are applying uh, with some other branch let's say mechanical or electronics so you will have your respective core domain topics questions here in the case of technical ability once you clear this round and once you are shortlisted for the next upcoming round, then we can forget this one and look at the technical interview. In this, this is the basis, basic outline of any interview that you have to follow. That is first the interviewer will introduce themselves like from where they come, how much experience they have, something about the company position and all that. Then they will ask the interviewee to introduce themselves to the interviewer from where do they come from, their college, resume, 
questions around their degree, their marks, projects, their favorite topics or say a strong technical topics that they would like to discuss about if they have won any prize or award for their projects or in competitions, these kind of things. Uh, then they will come to the technical questions. So let's say for in case of um, CS students or IT students, some questions can be that they can ask you the difference between tuples and lists. They can ask you what is passed by value and passed by reference, the difference. They can ask you what is polymorphism or acid operations from database. Similarly, when you apply for mechanical or electrical background, you can be asked questions around your core topics. Um, so then interview at the end of the interview, like let's say, mostly it lasts for uh, 30 to 45 minutes. And at the end of the interviewee can ask question to the interviewer around anything. Uh, then once if you are selected with both these rounds, then you're almost done with your review process. But in the end, we have one more round that is the HR interview, which can ask you questions around these topics, not necessarily these exact questions, but these are mostly managerial or HR interview type questions. Like how was your technical interview? what did you do during the pandemic the pandemic at home so the the aim of this round is to know your skills and to, so that hr can also look that how the person how much enthusiastic and excited you sound how smart do you sound during this whole interview process and that is very important not just bear bare minimum doing and answering the questions but also show your enthusiasm and excitement about joining the company so this is the entire process. So once you are done with all these steps, you might get selected and will be uh, uh, offer letter might be floated to you soon after that. And that will be the end of the interview process. So thank you. That's it for this video. But if you have more questions around this interview process of Tata Electronics, you can mention in the comments. Also, if you want me to make a video on some other companies interview process, let me know in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe it as well. Thank you. That's it.